Welcome to LacerationRepair.com. Today we're going to talk about how to tie a surgeon's knot. So your first step is going to be to cross your strands. Notice your dominant right hand takes the strand that's farther away from you. Next you're going to form what's called the bird's beak using your thumb and your forefinger. We're going to refer to this position again and again in our tying. To set the knot, we're going to create that bird's beak and pull that free strand in our left hand through the loop twice. Then pull it tight. Now we're going to talk about the two throws involved in creating the surgeon's knot. We'll call this throw A. Let's first watch it in full speed. And now let's break it down in slow motion. Firstly, we take the strand in our left hand and cross it over our thumb. We create our bird's beak and then we grab that free strand from our left hand and we push it through the loop, retrieve it with our left hand, and then pull it taut. Notice, in order to get the knot to lie flat, we'll have to cross our hand slightly across the margins of the wound. Let's take a look at this one more time, this time from a bird's eye perspective. So again, I'll take that strand in my left hand, cross it in front of my thumb, I'll make my bird's beak and pass it through the loop, grab the free strand and push it through, and retrieve it with my left hand, crossing my hands to make the knot lie flat. Now let's talk about throw B. For throw B, we're going to put our right hand in what's called the pistol position. That's full speed. Let's take a look at it again in slow motion. Our right hand's in the pistol position. The left-handed strand is then crossed in front of the left side. We're going to create that bird's beak and send it through the loop, grab the suture, and this time we're going to pull it towards us through the center of the loop. And watch as you pull it taut the knot lies flat and your hands are back in their starting position. Let's take one more look from the bird's eye perspective. Again, we make that pistol position with our right hand. We cross our bird's beak through the loop. This time we retrieve the strand and bring it back towards us as we hold the knot flat. To complete our tie, we're just going to repeat this sequence over and over again. So again, throw A. We're taking that strand and pushing it away from us through the loop and crossing our hands. Then throw B, where we're grabbing the strand and we're pulling it back through the loop. Throw A, followed by throw B. In order to check ourselves in this tying model, we'll zoom in on the knot and take a look. When properly tied, you should see a nice, even braid created. And that's how you tie a surgeon's knot.